Now, there is no doubt about it, the way in which we shop is changing and it's hitting jobs. Around 40,000 people have been affected by the upheaval in the retail industry so far this year. Uh, this year we've seen the high profile demise of course of big names like Maplin, Toys R Us and Pound World uh, has been followed by a string of store closures at high street stalwarts such as Marks & Spencer, Carphone Warehouse and New Look. Retail is still the private sector's single largest employer to the tune of 2.8 million jobs across all roles, consisting of 1 million sales and retail assistants and 200,000 cashiers working in the UK. More than you expected, perhaps. Well, 18% of all shopping was carried out online uh, in October. A decade ago, that figure was just 5%. So things changing very rapidly. Joining us now is Kate McCarthy Booth uh, from McCarthy uh, Recruitment. Uh, Kate, are, are you noticing in terms of the recruitment side that uh, those looking for retail jobs are finding a much tougher time of it. Um, I think it fluctuates. I think um, there's a, probably a feeling out there rather than a full reality. I definitely think that um, people are concerned um, if I stay in retail, will that job still exist? But for me, um, retail jobs are still there. They're just in different places, maybe just not always on the shop floor. Of course, when retailers uh, face uh, hard times and, and uh, on the high street especially, they may be tempted to cut their costs by cutting jobs. Is there a danger though that that becomes a vicious circle where if you have fewer people in the, in the stores as shop assistants, the experience for customers isn't as good and then they just think, well, do you know, I'm going to go online as well anyway. Um, I think so, but I don't think that's the, what's happening. I mean, for me, even talking to retailers about tech advancements, they're talking about tech taking over tills but enabling them to provide more service. So I think for the retailers that I'm certainly involved in, and they're seeing that as an opportunity to deliver better service in store. Um, and there are some retailers out there that still definitely believe in bricks and mortar. It's about combining things as opposed to seeing it as one channel online or bricks and mortar. It's, it's about omni-channel now, really. I mean, I've been to a couple of retail trade fairs myself, had a look around, and what struck me was just how much technology is playing a bigger part in the roles that humans used to do. Are you seeing that have a big effect on retail jobs as well? Um, I think it will, and I think it will start to, but as again, I think it will displace jobs into different places as opposed to replace jobs. Um, and as I said, I think it makes things more efficient, um, it certainly brings costs down, which enables them to put it in different areas. People are always going to be needed in retail. It's an it's a industry that's all about people, um, and um, as consumers, we want to have that experience. Shopping is going to become an experience, and any retailers that kind of don't move forward and are innovative, they're, they're the ones that are going to lose um, so it's a mixture of everything I think um, tech isn't going to replace anything we're not going to all sit in our bedrooms ordering online because retail shopping is an experience that we all love doing and do you think retailers really have themselves to blame and in, in some cases being too slow to respond to changing habits and more people going online absolutely definitely not just online but actually not making it exciting and an experience retailers that haven't changed that haven't innovated like any sector will be left behind um, and we, you know we've got clients that are opening stores business are thriving and they're doing really well but they've looked at who they are what the consumer wants and they've adapted to that and they're constantly looking to innovate and that's the key to this um, it's really about making sure that you're at the forefront of your industry and you're thinking about what the consumer wants and making shopping an overall experience rather than a functional experience. Online's functional, you go on, you need a product, you get it, but actually shopping and retail is a, a whole different experience and it can be. Okay, Kate, thanks very much. Kate McCarthy Booth there. Thank you.